I feel like this. Can I just imagine like being in it and like twirling around like mayor, like sound of music? And then I realized that if I did that, I'd probably just look like a really, I don't know, like I imagine myself being like a like a dried black seal, just like ah, like I'm beautiful, but I like I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, that's kind of really silly. And I like cried on the bus the whole time. I just like put my sunglasses on and cried. I hope no one noticed. There was this girl, she had red hair, and all her tattoos were done in red ink. And she had, um, she was really tall, but she was wearing heels, and she seemed short, even though she was tall and wearing heels. And she kept, like, looking at me, and I kept looking at her, I don't know if there was, like, sexual attention or anything, but it was weird. And then when I moved, she moved, and then when I moved to the back, she moved to the back, and I kept thinking she was going to talk to me, and I was like, maybe I should talk to her, but I don't know. And then she, like, got off the bus, and then I was like, damn, that was an opportunity that I, like, missed out on because I couldn't say hi. That sucked. I mean, I don't know. She just seemed, I was just intrigued by her because I think she was intrigued by me. And I realized that, like, I was wearing a lot of black and she was wearing a lot of red. And I was like, I can red? That's interesting. Like the Portland Trailblazers. Kind of. <laughs> I don't like sports stuff. That's good. That's all I know about sports is Portland Trailblazers, sort of. I, 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 that's kind of a lie. But, uh, you know, what's better than being out in a meadow on a nice day looking at the, uh, forgot the name of that bridge. It's the Green Bridge on McLaughlin. I think I have grass, like, literally, pricking my vagina. That's... Fuck. Yeah, I, I kind of have that problem right now, too. Oh, yeah. I'm not wearing a dress, though, but... Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh. That was not my ass. That was definitely a cupcake cup that I ate earlier. It was actually delicious. Oh, awesome. Went, where'd, you, where'd you get that cupcake? I went to this local place in downtown Portland, which is the Pearl District. It's called Cupcake Jones. And yeah. I was going to... There was a Ben & Jerry's, and there was a Cupcake Jones, and I, I kept looking... I or cupcake. I was like, ice cream sounds good because it's hot, but then I was like, I don't know, I love cupcakes. You know, let's give this one a chance. And I went in there, and I was like, it's super beautiful, and like, I don't know, they had, uh, I was looking around, and I was like, eh, they might be dry, you know, like, sometimes cupcakes aren't like, they look pretty, but they're like, not the best. Right. So I was like, eh. But then she like, was like, oh, well, we have, uh, cupcakes of the month this month. We have our chocolate dip strawberry and our chocolate mocha and I was like mmm strawberries and then she's like we filled it in with fresh strawberries and I was like fresh strawberries I was like I guess that's good enough and I was like and then I, I looked in the fridge and I saw like a little milk carton and I was like oh I can get milk and then I can, I can probably just like drink the milk but then I was just like I don't know and then I paid for it and she's like I was like how much and she's like 375 and I was like damn I'm not going to get the milk because that's expensive. <laughs> so I didn't get the milk. And then I go out time and I eat half the cupcake. It was delicious. I had to think about it. Because I'm not a really big fan of chocolate cupcakes either. And then I went into Bear and Jerry's and I was thinking maybe I should just like get a scoop of ice cream anyways and like have cupcake and ice cream and be like completely horrible. <laughs> but then I just didn't because I had a willpower. And then I asked if I could use the bathroom and I thought she was going to be mean. But she was actually nice and let me use it even though I didn't buy anything. At the Ben and Jerry's? Yeah. Nice. Well, good shout out to Ben and Jerry's then for having a friendly staff. Yeah. Well, the funny thing was that I wasn't even planning on getting the ice cream or the cupcake until I had to use the bathroom. And then I was like, where's the closest, like, food area? Um, I guess that was the choices. But then, like, I got distracted by the cupcakes, I guess. And I, I need yeah. a fucking cupcake. Yeah. Hook it up with that cupcake. I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know if I really wanted a cupcake or just really wanted to spend my money. Well, what would you spend your money on otherwise then? What what better than a nice, pleasant yeah. treat for yourself? I probably would have just bought another treat for myself and I probably would have not tasted as good as that cupcake. Right. And that cupcake was there, you know, spontaneous. Uh, interaction, cupcake. Yeah. Money. Was it spontaneous or was it meant to be there so I can... Well, it, was, it was definitely meant to be there. 
Like, that, that, that's your fucking cupcake right there. You need that cupcake. I know. You want to see the top came in? Yeah. Pretty cool. That's what I was sitting on. It came, it, it was pretty big. Oh, wow. It's like You can uh, smell it, too. It smells delicious. It looks it like, like a, uh, like in one of those peanut butter parfaits from, mm -hmm. uh, Dairy Queen kind of container Actually, with a I cupcake inside. I was craving inside. Dairy Queen the other day. You, you moved here too late. There was a Dairy Queen right there, uh, I don't know when it went away, maybe a year ago, uh, like right on the other side of the street on McLaughlin, uh, mm -hmm. but there's that one up in Oregon City, City yeah. which isn't too bad, that was still pretty close, but, uh, I have one out my way, out over on Division, but it's, uh, it's a little bit of a trek, like on 50th, 52nd Division, but it ain't no fucking cupcake in a parfait. Up. Yo, what's up? I think he was talking to me. That guy just said. I know he did say, "Hey, girl." He said, "Hey, girl," and I'm hey, on the way hey, to after girl. that. But I figured with me saying something back, they'd uh, appreciate that more. Or maybe they thought the I was, or you were throwing your voice, and it just looked like I was saying it, and that you really had my voice, which I am glad you don't. I think I'd be sexy if I had your voice. It would be pretty... Don't be, don't, don't be so, uh... So mean on yourself. Okay. So hard on yourself. Alright. Well, I, I have a thing about my voice, which is weird since I'm doing a podcast. Uh, I just always think my voice always sounds weird, but I guess that's... Maybe, that's, maybe we should call this one the Cupcast. The Cupcast. Do you like that? Yes, Cupcast number one. And cut. And cut. That's <laughs> that's how it goes. Did uh? I wonder who decides that weeds are like not good for us. Uh, the planet. Well, you know what I don't get? Weeds have flowers, so why are they ugly compared to other flowers? Uh, they're more German. invasive, I guess. But then I would rather have this than a fucking freshly, like or uh, like a really nice lawn. I'm not, I'm not for the really, really nice lawn that has grass and, like, needs to be watered, like, a few times a week. Wait, nice lawns have actual grass? Well, it's whatever. Where do I find it? It's grass type stuff. I've never seen such a thing. The, like, a, a lawn. Yeah. The, the lawn. I'm from the East Coast. The only lawn we oh. got is cement. Well, then you're, you're lucky. It's, it's so ridiculous. There's people that, like, there's so much wasting water just to have this fucking, let grow what grows there, at least, or put cement up that's going to not you know, be something that needs to be tended to very often. I mean, you have to attend to cement every once in a while, like fix fix the, um, you know, sidewalks or whatever, concrete slabs, but as far as just like, or like, you know, it's like having a palm tree here. I had neighbors in my backyard that had palm trees. I know, you know what, I actually went to a barbecue the other couple of weeks, and they had like, it looked like, I felt like I was in California for like a couple of hours. Right. Because they had like weird trees in there. I'm like, where do these plants come from? Yeah, you know? they're they're not supposed to not supposed to be there, but maybe they are. Maybe they're supposed to be there and they're supposed to fucking make the ecosystem of wherever that area is grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, almost. Not really though, but um, I I lost my train of thought that that. I was seduced in the broadcaster. Sorry, guys. Yeah. We fucked up. Yeah. I was, like, licking this plastic cup, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not trying to be egotistic here, but it might have been really sexy of me, and I didn't really realize I was being sexy. I do that a lot because I'm so unaware of my body. I feel like I'm Casper. Like, I just, like, hang in there, floating around, and then someone's like, hi, and I'm like, oh, I'm real. That's, that's, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm usually kind of the same way. Not really, though. A little bit. Did you ever pick buttercups and put them under your chin? Uh, no. I used to do that. And then if it reflect on your chin, like yellow, yeah. then you were a buttered muffin. 
Oh, how do you get a butter muffin? Your butter muffin, you would take like these like yellow flowers, and they're called buttercups, and you butter your muffin, and you put them under your chin, and it would reflect. So you got a yellow chin? Yeah. And? A butter muffin. A butter muffin. <laughs> it would probably be pretty cool if it was someone with a, a, I a dimple if, chin. I wonder if this reflect is the a cream muffin because this is a white flower. It may be. Uh, well, you know what kind of flower that is? It's a weed. It's a weed. It's well, a flower. All right. Well, weeds are... Some asshole discriminated them. Yeah. They're, Back those people. Yeah. They're still something more than weeds because there's there's flower and shit coming off of this. It's, you know, it's not just something that... There's shit coming off of everything when you talk. There's shit coming out. Right. You know? And, it, you know, leave that shit there. I'm it's, just throwing shit right back at you. Right. Just keep the shit train going, <laughs> you know, and, and everything will be all right. That's why they call it the poopy chain. Right. And then they change it to grave train for all those passive people. Right. I don't want to say poopy chain. So we're just going to say gravy because it's brown and gooey. Yeah. Like, like, poo. That's good, that's good. Uh, and gravy. And, yeah, the I, I, in the cup. <laughs> Cut the cup in the gravy. Maybe I should just poop inside the cup. I or think, someone. I think that, that would seem like that would be the, maybe first on this podcast, actually. This would be the first time someone would poop in a cup on, on the, uh, public access podcast as it is called now. One girl and one cupcake cup. The one girl one cupcake Deal. cup. Yes. You know actually there's like this thing called like I don't know if it's called caking or what it is. It's like where a girl takes her ass and sticks her ass in a cake. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. That's, like, that's actually like, oh, That's good. I like you that. actually like Google it and it's like this girl she like 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 she likes to just cake her ass and she just fucking gets all up in that fucking cake and you know and actually this guy I met he's uh he's really cool and he is uh, a great guy at making no no uh, he was uh, saying cake. this thing like uh that for his birthday he was asking his girlfriend if she would you know cake her ass and I was like what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, that's actually real? <laughs> and then he was still talking to me, and I thought to myself, man, this guy's real cool, but he's a real weirdo. <laughs> and then I might, you know, like, my meter for him being, like, kind of cute went down a little bit, because I was like, I don't know, I'd rather eat that cake than spend my butthole on that yes, shit. Yeah, does the cake get eaten <laughs> what afterwards? What a waste of money. Or is the cake just completely destroyed? Yeah, I would have been like, dude, you want to see me do that shit? I want to see you on your high hand, like, <laughs> I want to yeah. see you in your high heels, motherfucker, and kick your ass. <laughs> see how you like it, you know? I was like, fuck that shit. Yeah. I ain't kicking nothing. No. <laughs> the only I'm kicking is fucking the top, and on top of my cupcakes, I'm going to eat with my mouth. That's right. And that was not sexual. Yeah, not not those, not the kicking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You can actually Google it. I'm, I'm just called kicking. I'm going to, when this is out, uh, whatever episode number this is, number... I believe I am taking one one of my podcasts out. Uh, one of them might not be aired. It may, but then that goes against my. Uh, you realize if you didn't tell them, they probably wouldn't even notice. Because they're all such small-minded people. Yeah, that, hey, that, that's my audience <laughs> of at least like three people, maybe. I'm about to cake on this fucking podcast. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to see the first caking. We, we just got a cake brought in. <laughs> and uh, I think I think the coast is pretty clear. This is caking attempt number one. And she ate the cake, so there's no caking happening. Uh, you guys missed it. <laughs> you missed it. There was your one opportunity. You missed it on this day. On this day. Well, I feel like, you know, if I really wanted to get you guys all hard and stuff, you know, if you're really into that... I can make like this awful like cake and sound, I guess. I don't know if that's a cake and sound. That was totally cake and sound. I that was the only thing I thought of when like you that, said cake and sound. Your vagina already does this like, you know, like, might as well sound like that. Right. Like, 
you know, and the cake is like, oh, I'm in the cake! These, these are sound effects, so you think. Have uh that you know what? If you did that, you should go do that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think people would be entertained by it. I'm balanced. <laughs> you are. You're you get on that wee balance and it would it would just stay completely still and totally flat. Galloping past us uh, on McLaughlin. Oh God! The galloping horse of McLaughlin legend. Uh oh. That's that's why I don't have long hair. Only the ponies. Oh. Only real ponies have long hair. Yeah, you're goddamn real right. Ponies. I'm ready to pony up on on that. Ha 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 ha. <coughs> Gross. That's the aftermath of that cake in event. Hey, that's all right. That's uh. I gotta get the fuck that, off. That's natural. Yeah. This crunchy lettuce is. Fucking yep, my my legs both my fell asleep. Shit. Yeah, my legs are asleep, and I don't know. They're like, come on, kid, let's start walking and do the walk like the boosties. Oh God. Oh. Yep, my legs you are just asleep. Walk with it. Well, I'm gonna walk. I'm walking over that way. I'm walking the opposite way. Great. We could just record the crinkles of our feet. I think we can do that. Oh wow, this is really hard to walk. My legs are totally asleep. So I'm walking like I'm. Uh, but your dick isn't. No, it isn't. My dick <laughs> is not walking. It's taking the bus. There it goes. I'm waving it by. not walking. No, no, no. No, 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 that goes my fire. Ah, no, 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 no. I wanna keep your car. Oh, no, 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 no. That's how we do. Oh. Well, Oop. thanks, Ben. Yeah, thanks, this Malin. This is Mala Malin. Representing for the East Coast to the West Coast. Yep. They treat me like a leper, or they treat me like a god. Yeah, she's my Connecticut sister. Yo, what you saying? Yeah. I ain't your sister. You ain't my sister. I'm your fucking motherfucking boss. She's my motherfucking boss <laughs> from Connecticut. <laughs> the mean street. Okay, well, I'll Our see you in another life, everyone, where we're both cats. That's right. <laughs>